Welcome to the DEF CAM. From Pakistan's strategic and technological perspective, the ongoing discussions regarding the Pakistan Air Force's Next Generation Fighter Aircraft Program, known as PFX, reflect both public enthusiasm and a fundamental misunderstanding of aerospace development cycles. The PFX initiative represents a meticulously structured, phased approach to fifth-generation fighter capability, acknowledging both technological constraints and strategic imperatives. Current analysis confirms that the initial prototype, designated PFX Alpha, will indeed function as a 4.5-generation aircraft without internal weapons carriage capability, utilizing a single-engine configuration that leverages existing propulsion technology while incorporating advanced avionics, radar absorbent materials, and sensor fusion capabilities that provide a foundational platform for subsequent development. The engineering rationale behind this incremental approach demonstrates sophisticated program management aligned with Pakistan's technological capacity and budgetary realities. The PFX Alpha serves as a crucial risk reduction phase, allowing Pakistan Aeronautical Complex to master complex technologies such as integrated sensor suites, advanced flight control systems, and composite airframe manufacturing before attempting the more challenging aspects of full-spectrum low observable design. This prototype will likely feature significant advancements over current JF-17 Block 3 capabilities, including improved radar cross-section reduction through shaping and materials application, though not achieving the level of all aspects stealth characteristic of dedicated fifth-generation designs. The single-engine configuration reflects both practical considerations of development cost and maintenance infrastructure commonality with existing fleet elements, while providing sufficient power for the aircraft's initial performance parameters. Technical specifications under development for the PFX Alpha indicate a focus on sensor capability and network integration rather than revolutionary airframe design. The aircraft will likely incorporate an advanced active electronically scanned array radar system with improved power output and target resolution over current systems, possibly derived from Chinese technological assistance, but featuring indigenous processing algorithms and waveform management. The avionics architecture will embrace open system standards, allowing for progressive capability insertion throughout the aircraft's life cycle. The cockpit design will certainly feature large area displays, voice command functionality, and helmet-mounted queuing systems that provide superior situational awareness despite the absence of internal weapons bays at this development stage. Weapons integration for the PFX Alpha will follow conventional external carriage methods, though with careful attention to signature reduction through the use of semi-recessed mounts and pylons designed with radar cross-section reduction features. This approach maintains combat capability during the development phase while avoiding the substantial technical challenges associated with internal weapons carriage systems, which require complex bay door mechanisms, environmental control for various munitions, and sophisticated launch sequence management that must function reliably under high-G combat maneuvers. The external carriage capability also allows for greater weapons flexibility and payload capacity during this development phase, enabling the platform to fulfill multiple combat roles while the more advanced stealth configurations undergo development. Subsequent variants beyond the Alpha prototype will pursue increasingly sophisticated low observable characteristics, potentially culminating in a twin-engine configuration with full internal weapons carriage capability. This evolutionary path mirrors the development approaches taken by other nations pursuing fifth-generation capabilities, recognizing that stealth technology represents a complex integration of airframe design, material science, and systems engineering that cannot be rushed without compromising overall program success. The transition to internal weapons carriage requires solving numerous technical challenges, including weapons bay acoustics that can affect munitions separation, electromagnetic interference between internal stores and aircraft systems, and the structural integration of large internal cavities that affect airframe stiffness and fatigue life. The potential shift to a twin-engine configuration in later variants would address several operational requirements, including greater electrical power generation for advanced sensors and weapon systems, increased thrust for maintaining supercruise capability while carrying internal weapons, and redundancy for overwater operations. This progression would likely leverage experience gained from the JF-17 program and technical cooperation partners, possibly incorporating elements from existing fifth-generation designs while adapting them to Pakistan's specific operational requirements and manufacturing capabilities. The development timeline for such advanced variants remains necessarily flexible, dependent on technological maturation, budgetary allocations, and evolving strategic requirements. From an industrial perspective, the phased PFX development approach allows for systematic development of Pakistan's aerospace manufacturing capabilities, 
Each phase builds workforce expertise in advanced composites manufacturing, precision machining of titanium components, and integration of complex avionics systems that will be essential for full fifth-generation production. This gradual capability enhancement ensures that technological advances are sustainable and supportable through the aircraft's operational life cycle, avoiding the pitfalls of attempting too many technological leaps simultaneously. The program also fosters development of Pakistan's defense supply chain, creating opportunities for private sector involvement in specialized components and subsystems. The strategic rationale for this measured approach reflects Pakistan's regional security requirements and resource constraints. Rather than pursuing an unattainable leapfrog to full fifth-generation capability, the PAF is developing a sustainable path that delivers incremental capability enhancements while building the industrial and technological foundation for more advanced platforms. This approach ensures that Pakistan maintains aerial deterrence capability throughout the development process, with each PFX variant offering meaningful advances over previous generations while preparing the infrastructure for subsequent improvements. The program demonstrates Pakistan's commitment to strategic autonomy in defense production while acknowledging the practical realities of technological development in an increasingly complex aerospace environment. The PFX program ultimately represents Pakistan's thoughtful entry into the realm of advanced combat aircraft development, balancing ambition with technical reality in a manner that ensures steady progress toward fifth-generation capabilities. By beginning with a capable 4.5-generation platform, and systematically addressing the challenges of stealth technology, internal weapons carriage, and advanced propulsion, Pakistan positions itself to eventually field a truly competitive fifth-generation fighter while avoiding the program risks and cost overruns that have plagued more ambitious projects in other nations. This development philosophy reflects both technical wisdom and strategic patience, ensuring that Pakistan's aerospace industry evolves at a pace that matches both its capabilities and its national security requirements. Thanks and stay tuned for the upcoming videos.